Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said that a government shutdown would have a terrible impact on military operations, Christina Wong at Breitbart's reports. The United States politicians are divided over immigration and DECA, the Mexico border wall and the security of our nation. To simplify what and why Congress is currently shut down, I will throw the blunt truth down like a hammer on an anvil. The Democrats are pathetic maggots that do not want to fund President Trump's wall along the Mexico border. They want a protection bill created to protect more than 700,000 illegal immigrants that they say came here as children. The icing on the cake is they want to protect sanctuary cities, free health care for illegal aliens and children of low-income families extended permanently. The Republicans want money allocated for the wall, border security and military funding, as well as immigration reform. As reported by the BBC, a bill to fund the federal government for the coming weeks did not receive the required 60 votes by the deadline of midnight on Friday. President Trump accused the Democrats of putting politics above the interests of the American people. The Democrats blame him for rejecting bipartisan compromise proposals. Now what is impacted by this partial shutdown as these issues are argued over until they can reach a compromise? Democrats are holding our military hostage over their desire to have unchecked illegal immigration. Can't let that happen, tilde President Trump. Saad Mattis is frustrated and pissed off, because this directly impacts the United States military and our operations globally. Our maintenance activities will probably pretty much shut down. We will not be able to induct any more of our gear that need maintenance. United States reservists across America have to report in for their weekend duty, they will be told turn around and go home. Those troops will arrive there at their armories, by the way, and told go home if there's a government shutdown, and they will then drive a couple hundred miles back home. These again are stoic men and women, they'll suck it up and say okay. And I would just tell you that training for almost our entire reserve force will stop and you must understand the critical importance of our reserves. The United States Reserve Military is a critical part of our military that takes an average of one year for these soldiers to fully understand the gear and tactics that they need to use if and when they are deployed. It's not like the old days where you could draft somebody in and 18 weeks later have them in combat with the skills they need. Reserve troops are the only shock absorber the U.S. military has. Today's infantrymen. They're called infantrymen because they're infant solders, young soldiers. They still take a year to train in order to have them ready to use the gear they have on them and make certain they have the ethical and tactical abilities to deal with the battlefield today. Tilde Saad Mattis To summarize what is going on, the Dem Zerocratic Party is fighting for illegal aliens and their rights and funds for their health care. They are putting our military soldiers, military security and security of our nation at great risk. They clearly do not care about the civilians of the United States and how they are even allowed to pull this deplorable act is mind-boggling. No congressman should ever be allowed to hold office if they are not first and foremost for the United States and we the people. At any time they fall off the path of America first, they need to be immediately pulled from Congress, and no more paychecks for them hit them where it hurts them, their greed, 